Okay, I suspect that by this time, you're really sick up to here with math induction, and you're ready to move on into something which is a lot more fun. So let's move into the topic of graph theory. Now, you were exposed to the notion of graphs in the introductory chapter, but that was done in an entirely informal way and with no pausing to make mathematically correct statements about the objects that we were studying. And now we're, we're, we're going to do that. We're, we're going to use intuition, but we're also going to be formally and mathematically correct. So what is a graph? A graph is a pair, VE, where V is a finite set, and E is a set of two element subsets of V. I give you an example. I have the graph VE, where V is the set consisting of 1, 2, capital A, X, capital B, and little a. And again, I'm messing with you because I don't want you to think that the vertices are always just simple objects like letters or positive integers. In real applications, vertices are things like databases. They're libraries of Congress. They're huge objects all by themselves. But for now, just letters. Given a graph, and I've again, my vertex set is 1, 2, A, X, and B, but the edge set, you see I have listed a collection of two element subsets. These are subsets, so there's no order. When you list the two element subset, which one you put first doesn't matter. That's why I'm using the squiggles. The order that you list the edges doesn't matter. Again, the squiggles. And now below, I have shown a drawing of this graph. And people who work in combinatorial mathematics and computer science and engineering like to have pictorial representation, drawings of graphs. And they usually draw them in the plane. And so they put a, a little dot or a circle or a, for each vertex. And they put a, a line in the plane between two vertices when that represents a two element set. And it's obvious uh, what, what the meaning of this is. Uh, in my drawing, my uh, two element sets correspond to straight line segments. But that's not essential. You can wiggle them around uh, for visual clarity if you, if you need be. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't matter. Don't make them so complicated that you obscure the meaning of the, of the drawing. OK. Now, it's all about adjacency. Here are two drawings of a graph whose vertex set I tell you in advance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But I claim that the graph is the same. Only the drawing is different. So look at the drawing and convince yourself that my statement is correct. I've got the same subset, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the picture on the left and the picture on the right gives you the same information about who, what two element sets are the edges. The drawing doesn't define the graph. The drawing is just a pictorial convenience. I've made a very subtle change here. We show two drawings of graphs, each on vertex set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but now they represent different graphs. Do you see it? Yeah, if I go back, I just made a teeny tiny change. I moved around two numbers. And you can see that it's not the same graph anymore. On the one on the left, I've got a two element set, an edge consisting of three and five. But on the right, I don't. So they're different graphs. Now, 
again, we want to stress that the picture is not the definition. The picture is just simply a notational convenience. So if I were to ask you, here's this picture, and then I ask, is it the drawing of one graph whose vertex set is integers 1 through 12, or is it the drawing of two graphs, one on the left having vertex set 1 through 6, and one on the right answer, yes. This is not a well-defined question because the pictures are not the definition. In order to specify a graph, you have to tell me what is its vertex set and what is its edge set. Now, you can be implicit. You can say, today, the vertex set consists of the integers one from, from, from 1 to 100. And now, for the rest of the conversation, I know that. He's talking about graphs whose vertex set are the integers 1 through 100. But you have to be explicit about what is the vertex set. So the question, as posed, makes no sense whatsoever. It could be yes, it could be no. It depends on what is the graph. So to be precise about a graph, you must specify the vertex set and the edge set. 